Okay, today we're going to be using Excel and we will put in some data here. This data it pertains to the 220, 2020 Olympic gold medal team. Uh, we're just taking the, first, the top five point scorers during the Olympics. Uh, Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, Damian Lillard, and Zach Levine. And we're going to make a pie chart showing the percentage of total points scored. Looks like Kevin had the highest. He had 124 points, so he had 34%. So anyway, we're going to make this, and we're doing this to illustrate how to effectively use Excel. All right, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is click down here and type in EXC and open up a blank Excel document and choose blank workbook. Now I'm going to scroll in by holding down my control key and use my scroll bar. I'm going to zoom in is what I meant to say, zoom in. You can also go down here and you can zoom back and forth by using this area. But the quick shortcut is to hold down control and use your scroll ball. All right, then the second thing I'm going to do is paste, or excuse me, I'm going to type in this, which was the heading. So go ahead and pause the video and type that in. And now we're going to type in, last name goes here. Now, when you type it in, if it looks like mine where it's a little bit squished, it's it's longer than the box. You can get a double-headed arrow between A and B. You have to be up here at the top. Get a double until your cursor changes to a double-headed arrow. Hold down and you can drag it as wide as you want. So I'm waiting, dragging the column to fit the full last name. Then we're going to put in. Then click on this cell B1. Excuse me, B2 because now we're in column B, row two, and then type in first name. And mine looks a little bit too small. And finally, in C2, we're going to type in total points. Okay. Next, I want to show you a trick to make it a little more efficient where you can watch this video and have this open at the same time. So let's do a split screen, which means you grab anywhere by this, this green area up here, grab your window, drag it down, and... Uh, touch the edge of the screen and then it lets you pick what else you want and you're going to pick my video that I'm showing you right now. I'm just going to pick this to show the finished product. But now I could be typing over here and I can see what's over here at the same time. So what we're going to do is have you, I'm, you're going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to show you this one. Because this has everything I want you to type in. So when I come back it's going to be like this and I'll continue from here. Just go ahead and pause the video and finish typing all of this in. Right down here it's all one word. I mean it's all in this this cell A8. Sum of points scored is in that entire cell. It'll spill over to this other but that's okay. And then I'll show you how to make a sum function here when we get back. Okay we're back. We've got Durant, Kevin. Notice there are different cells so I didn't want you to type the full name just the last name here, first name here, and then the points. So make sure that you're in different cells for each of these. Now, looking at all of these cells, we want a sum function down here. If you have typed in 4 or 11, no problem, we'll just overwrite it. Just click on top of that cell. Then we're going to use this little auto sum button. And what's neat is it says, oh, you want to sum above me? And it automatically recognizes that there's data entered above it from C3 to C7, and that's correct, C3 down to C7. I'll hit enter to accept it, and there's the 411. How do I know there's a, a formula behind that number? Right up here in the formula bar, it tells me. If I click on this number and I look up here and I go, oh, that was just typed in as 57, there's no formula. But this one does have a formula because you can see it. All right, next, let's pretty this up a little bit. We're gonna highlight, I wanna make this a merged cell. So I highlighted, I clicked right in the middle, of A1, and I drag across until I get to C3, or C1, excuse me. So I'm highlighting all three cells. I let go, and I go to the merge and center, and now it merged it into one big cell. So that one's all three, and it centered it for us. Let's give it a title heading. It's a little bit too big, so we're just going to, let's see, it's at, oops, it's at 20. 
we'll bring it down to maybe 14. And we can expand some of these. There we go. It's a nice title. And I'll hit bold. I want mine bolded. Now, for last name, first name, and total points, I'm going to highlight all three. I'm not going to merge it. I'm just going to give it a, a color. Uh, I'm gonna, I like blue. I'll go ahead and go with blue. You can pick any color that you'd like. And then I'll give this one a color. kind of distinguishes. So we've got two different colors. Uh, I'm going to go with green down there. And then all of this, I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'd like to have borders turned on for the rest of these. So I'm going to click on this border button and choose all borders. And now we've got a nice data that looks uh, presentable, looks professional. Okay, the last step is to make our pie chart. So what we're going to do is highlight from Kevin all the first names all the way down to Zach and the points scored. And the pie chart is going to show a percentage of total points scored, but we don't highlight total points. We only highlight these. And it'll, it'll say how much did each player make as a percentage of the total points. So we're going to go up here to the insert and choose this little pie chart drop down. How do you know I went to insert? Notice it's highlighted up here. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to 3D pie chart. I'm going to go ahead and click this guy. And now I'm going to zoom out again so I can see more of my screen. I'm holding down control and I'm using my scroll ball. You can also do it down here. And then I'm going to take this pie chart and move it over next to my data so I can see both. And I'll zoom in just a little more so we can see it better. All right, now I want the names like I have over here. I want it to look like this. First of all, percentage of totals. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. You all can type it. I'm going to copy that. Double click on the chart area. And I'll paste it. You all just going to type this out. Percentage of total points. Now, we're going to go up here. There's some auto formatting or auto these designs that are created for us. And I'd like to choose the one, let's see, that one. No, I want the one with their names and the percentage. So let's find the one that has, that's a pretty one. I like that, but it doesn't have their names right on it. I think I can show you how to do that, though. We're going to go ahead and choose that one. And then let's go over here. I just want to see what options I have. I click on this where I get the handlebars on the entire pie chart. I can, oops, right here, this one is design. And I can scroll down, they even give me more designs. So let's see, which one do we want? Oh yeah, that one has all the names in it. That's what I want. It says the names too. So I'll let you all pick whichever one you prefer, which style you prefer. As long as it has the names and the percent, which it looks like they all do in these styles. They're pretty. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this one. So it doesn't look like my example over there, but that's okay. Now, because we have the names here, we don't need it duplicated down here. So I'm going to click this box and delete it. Hit delete on my keyboard. And there we are. That's the finished product. That's all you have to do today. Make sure you give it a file, save as. You're going to put it in your OneDrive if you have your OneDrive synchronized. If not, we can just browse to, uh, so this would be your synchronized OneDrive. If it's not synchronized, you don't have a OneDrive, then you can just save it on your Documents folder. And we're going to call this... 2020 USA Basketball Team. All right, we're done.